Hello, Foothills. Hey, first of all, Dave and I just want to thank you. You are such a great church. We're amazed at the amount of people that are watching the services online. Yeah. And so many of you have been so faithful in your giving, and we appreciate it. Yeah, We're, we feel so blessed to be to pastor this church. Um, the first thing, Mark, you and I want to talk about is last night, we had a phenomenal worship time, worship service. And unfortunately, we had an internet connection, and so it was very difficult for people to follow. It's all fixed, and uh, well, uh, uh, Cox is here right now fixing the problem, but it's it's gone back, it's gonna go back up on the internet for you to watch, and Mark and I would just recommend that you check that out. Yeah, you're gonna love it. A lot of you guys watched it for a while and pulled out. Right. Other thing we wanna bring up real quick is our home fellowships. You guys are doing a fantastic job, our home fellowship pastors. You guys are staying in touch. And we have 70% uh, of our home groups meeting on Zoom with more to be added. So good job. And let me ask you something, Mark. Did you know about Zoom before this happened? Uh, I probably used it the first time six or eight weeks ago. I never heard of it before in my life. Anyway, the second thing, or the third thing here, is the 714 prayer movement, which churches are committed to all across the United States, 10,000 tens of thousands of Christians. And we're asking you to pray along with the other Christians around America at 714 in the morning or 714 at night or just one or the other. Just stop what you're doing. You might be watching TV, doing dishes, whatever it is. Stop and pray together for our country yes. and uh, uh, the church. church. And yeah, Lynn and I are doing that every evening and morning. Hey, and then I wanna just give you a report. Our church, you guys are great praying for people. We've had just two families that tested positive for COVID. They had uh, mild symptoms and they're all through with their um, quarantine. And we had one other man that was hospitalized, I believe for about four days with flu-like symptoms. And uh, they believe that he could have had COVID, but he's on the other side of it praise doing Lord. well now. So yeah. praise God, God has been good to us. Just want to also make you aware, you might have seen it on Channel 8 News this last week. Our church fed 200 doctors, nurses, and workers up at Grossmont Hospital. Uh, they said they needed some, some food, and so we went up there, and 200 individually uh, wrapped uh, dinners for them. And we're looking for other things to do. Yeah, we're seeing what the Lord will give us. And we want to stay in touch with you. So if you're not yet receiving e-news emails from us you need to go to our website scroll down to the bottom where it says keep in touch just hit that button and you can sign up for the newsletter we want everybody to be getting our newsletter that's the number one way we stay in touch make sure you it? sign up for that all right go scroll down to the bottom and sign up well that's it from here dave why don't you say goodbye to all the nice people goodbye everybody god bless you